Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it is Sweetest Dolls, and today we are opening another one of the dolls that I got from my Christmas haul, so if you haven't checked that video out, go check that out first, and then you'll see a lot of the videos that are going to be upcoming after that one, and today we are opening my GCDS X Bratz doll, and we have Miss Sasha, I'm so excited, I know I'm like, what am I, over a year and a half late or something, but um yeah i got it for christmas um they went on sale for i think like 35 dollars or something like that around like black friday and stuff like that so i was like asking my aunt to get me i made a little wish list of a few bratz dolls and the gcds dolls were on there this bratz series 2 dolls were on there and girls and outwear and i got gcds in one of those series 2 dolls and i'm just very excited i've been wanting these for a really long time i was one of the few people in the minority that actually loved them regardless i mean after people got them and the quality control was like really bad looking um i ended up skipping out obviously because i'm literally just getting there now but um yeah i'm excited to have her and let's just like get right into it so first we have this plastic slip cover to take off just as you see it dsx barats um and then the packaging itself is really gorgeous and it feels so luxe so First, we have this gorgeous art of Sasha. I do wish Sasha was more of the skin tone instead of, like, orange here. They have fixed her skin tone since they changed the um, screening method, but, like, that's, like, crazy different. <laughs> but I love this art. It's really gorgeous. I also love all the little motifs. Like, they have the, um, the lucky fortune cat. I forget what it's called. I know Brooke is obsessed with them, but <laughs> Brooke executed into this, sorry. I keep, I don't know if people know her by her name or executed into this, so I just say that. But um, next we open it up. It has a little magnet and this is what the dog looks like in the like open display format. It's, it's kind of hard to show it off because it's big and also um my ring light but you can kind of see in the back that we have some more art of the other girls so we have chloe there we have jade behind and then i think that's yasmin down there sasha's probably here too but probably oh she's up in the corner so yeah um the packaging is really really nice i'm not one to keep the dolls in box so i'm obviously taking her out that's why i'm making this video but yeah, I'm gonna go take her out because I haven't opened a, des a designer Bratz yet in my life, so I don't really know how hard it's gonna be, but I will be back in a second. Okay, <laughs> so that was actually a nightmare to open. Um, That was the hardest doll I've ever opened or tried to unbox. Mm, that was so fun. So let's just get on to the doll. <laughs> because getting her out of the box I did take some time to just like look at her and she's gorgeous so mine does have some misplaced lip liner as you can tell but besides that I think her face is really like pretty like I like the makeup a lot I like the mix the mix of like the reddish blush that goes into like this yellow that's like right under the eye I don't know I think it's really interesting and I like the lip color too I also love the painted on baby hairs, and I love that she has micro braids. Like, she has a full head of micro braids. Like, it's, she's packed. She's packed full of micro braids. I, and I love this hair type. It's so, like, fun to play with. So, really nice. But, yeah, her face is really pretty. I love the graphic liner. I don't know. I, I definitely do think it would have benefited from the new or like them going back to the spray paint instead of the stamp pixel. But I do think for what it is, it looks really pretty. And also from far away, I really don't think it's that noticeable. Unless you have light on it, because then it's just like really glossy. But yeah, um, sorry. I just keep thinking about how much of a nightmare <laughs> she was to unbox. Like I literally had no idea what to do. I broke like two nails. It... It was not a good time. But anyways, let's get on to the rest of the doll. So we have, I'm just going to take the earring out. I'm pretty sure it's the same one on both sides. We have these Bratz 
giant like metal circles that have GCDS up there and it says Bratz there. They're really, really cool. I love all the new molds we got with the designer dolls specifically because it's like, these are such fun pieces to play around with. And I love that they're electroplated because it makes it feel so much more luxe. And I mean, for what, $60 or whatever she retailed for originally? Like, I would hope so. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's weird to have her on an articulated body because if I'm being honest, I don't like really have any articulated bodies. I sold my Hayden Bratz dolls a long time ago, so it's been a while since I played with this one. And I also took off the 2018 body off the Repro Sweetheart Megan, and I gave her the 2010 party slash cat's body, so yeah. Um, so I guess next I'll show her purse since it's the only accessory she comes with. Um, really cool. Sorry, there's fingerprints on it already. I it, it's It's been a journey to get this doll out of the box, but I love this bag. It's so cute. I do wish they came with the one that they did for the Bratz collections because it had all the like really, really pretty art. Like it had this art all over it, I'm pretty sure. I'm also probably gonna scan this art so I could have it because it's gorgeous. Like I the GCDS art, if you weren't a big fan of the dolls, I do think the best part of it was the art. But this is a cool heart bag. I like how they did the chain instead of having a real chain. I just think it's a lot easier and it's less likely to corrode over time, even though she has metal on her bodice, but whatever. Um, moving her to the side, I guess, I'll also show the um, stand because it's massive and it's weighted. Um, so this is the stand base. Like, absolutely insane. And I like that this is, I think, the first time Brass has ever used the waist hugger like, as a stand clip, which is really interesting. And we also have these two buttons here that when you just push them to the side, this comes out. So you can have this just being the stand. But then under there is a little compartment that has a GCDS X Bratz um, little certificate. I'm not going to take it out, but that's what the sticker looks like. Super cool. It's just to show that you have an authentic piece, which is fun. But I'm most definitely not going to be using this stand because... I don't have the room for it, but I do like that we get a stand, obviously, because she is a collector doll. And for the price that she's at, it would be a little disheartening if she didn't get one. But on to the actual outfit of the doll. So, um, I think I'm going to take off this jacket so I can show it to you. But this is what the entire outfit looks like, just so you can have a little look. I know you've probably seen these dolls, God knows how many times, but that's what it looks like on. And then let's see if I can take off the jacket because I, I want to take it off so we can have a full look at the jacket itself and then the bodysuit and all that stuff. Is it stuck on? I swear to God. If it's like tagged on somewhere, it might be actually. No, please. Oh, it is. Why? Oh, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> well, guess that's not happening. But let me move the head so we can take a look at the jacket. Um... So this is what the jacket looks like. It's GCDS with brats all over it. It's made of a really, really soft material. It feels really nice. It has this like little butt flap thing that has two buttons on it. Um, really, really cool. And then the inner lining is just um, Sasha's bunny logo for Bunny Boo because that is her nickname. Super, super cool. I'm a big fan of this jacket. It's really, really cool and it's really nice. Um, I guess I'll start from the bottom and go up then now. So next are the shoes, which are so cool. They're these um, knee-high GCDS boots that have this um, electroplated gold heel. I thought it was gold to touch for a second. It is not, but it's really, really cool. I'm a big fan of these boots. I think they look really nice. Also, sorry if I seem a little less energetic. That box really took a number on me. Like, damn. Like, that was a pain to get off. Like, geez. But, yeah, the boots are the same on both sides. Um, Next is, like, this mermaid-esque top. I don't even know, like, what to describe it as. I, I would take it. I would, like, love to take it off but I need to figure out the jacket ordeal, but here's what it looks like. It has like this seashell moment over the, the breast area. And then we have all these like 
faux gem like tassel dangles here which are really nice this entire piece i'm pretty sure is made of metal this top part might not be but this down here is metal with faux gems which is really cool the sleeves say gcds i think i actually can't really tell but i'm assuming that's what it says and that stuff goes like all the way around where it has an actual like jewelry clasp back there to take it off it also that needs to be snipped but yeah um since I'm not going to be able to take this off right now, um, I guess we could just look at the body suit like this. So it has some sheer parts. It is a, like, a turtleneck, but then it also has, like, some more sheer parts here. It has that there, so it covers, like, the underwear area, which is really cool. Because when I first looked at this, I thought it was just, like, some sort of, like, fishnet bodysuit, and I was, like, really bored. <laughs> but this is really cute. And then it has more of, like, a... Would this be, like, spandex or, like, a legging material? that covers like the inner thighs and the actual like chest area which is really cool and i'm pretty sure that goes onto the yeah it goes onto the back too as you can tell um and yeah i like went over this doll really fast <laughs> sorry it's just like she has a lot of really really cool pieces she also is on an articulated body i'm pretty sure you can see that but she's on the 2018 articulated body which is not my favorite. I just think the proportions are a little weird, but that is also just me because I know plenty of people like this body. But yeah, um, I went over this doll really fast because like, I don't know, I feel like if you're watching this, you've, ha you've most likely seen one of the other reviews on her already. So I don't really know what else I would add, but I do like her quite a bit. She's gonna fall? No, okay. She's just like leaning forward a bit. Um, I do like her quite a lot, actually. A lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, her face is a lot better in person than I thought it would be. I also did wait a long time, so the quality control on it is probably a lot better. But the outfit pieces are really nice, and they're, like, specifically, like, this bralette type of, like, thing and this bodysuit are gonna be really, really versatile. And I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of restylers use them anyway, so, like, really, really cool. This jacket is insanely high quality. I love the accessories. I'm not usually a gold person, but I love the purse and I love the earrings. And the base doll herself is actually probably my favorite part. I just think like the doll herself is really pretty and I love the micro braids because we haven't, I think, pretty sure this is the first Sasha with micro braids. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think any in the original run of Brad's had them. So that's really cool that we got this. Um... I don't know. I just think they're really, like, overall, like, a really cool doll. I don't really have a lot to say because, like, again, like, they've been out for so long that, like, what am I adding that hasn't already been said? I've also seen this doll God knows how many times. Not in person, but, like, online. So, like, all my opinions are kind of solidified. Like, I think she's really pretty, but for the original price point, I would not pay that because the doll herself, like, the face had so many, like, quality issues so I'm like really surprised with the face I got because like you can't really tell the lip liner is messed up from over here and the eyes are like perfect at least for me they are the brows look really good the painted on baby hairs are really good the hairline's really nice I don't know everything's just really impressive looking um but yeah that's kind of it for this <laughs> video I don't really know what else to say and again that box was an actual nightmare to open like this is literally like the <laughs> The only thing that is, like, together still is the exterior of the box, which is actually kind of nice because if I do ever end up having more room for my brats, I can display all the designer dolls and their, like, little things and stuff. But, yeah, that's kind of all I have for this video. If you guys like, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you are even thinking about getting these dolls. If you have them, what do you think of them? Who's your favorite of the two? I still think Yasmin is probably my favorite. I, st I really do need to get her before she's still, like gone forever. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next video because I have a lot of brats to open. So bye.